Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. Firstly, if my voice sounds real deep, it's because it's early in the morning, but I wanna go ahead and get this video out for you all. So yesterday, Rare Beauty dropped their new Kind Words matte lipstick and lip liners collection. I picked up four of the lipsticks. I have them right here. Your girl could not be patient, so I did a order online, pick up in store order. There's 10 colors in total, and there's 10 lip liners that match the lipsticks. Again, I picked up four of the colors, and I wanted to go ahead and swatch them all for you today. Just in case you're curious about the collection, especially these four colors, and want to know about the formula, want to know how these colors show up on my skin tone, I want to give y'all all the tea about this collection. But first, before we get into this video, if you haven't done so already, Ready, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell I post new videos twice a week so if you're subscribed you don't hit that notification bell then you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead and hop into these lip swatches y'all I think Selena is making me into a rare beauty girl I started off with just like their blush and then do I have anything else from them? Yeah, I think I started off with just their blush and then I got into their tinted moisturizer, which I'm wearing today actually, and it's been my go-to for the summer. Then when I saw that they dropped these lipsticks and I saw the nudes, y'all, I love me some nudes. And then I also love the message behind these lipsticks. So the names of these lipsticks is a kind word, basically like an affirmation. In total, let me read you all the names. Again, there's 10 total. So there's talented, creative, lively, worthy, humble, fun, wise, bold, gifted, strong. And those are pretty much in order of lightest to darkest. And like I said, I got the four darkest shades just because some of these shades look like they was gonna be a little ashy on my skin tone, so I didn't even bother. But I got wise, bold, gifted, and strong. And the lip liners are basically named the exact same thing as the lipsticks so let's go ahead and get into the claims so it claims that Selena wanted to create a classic lipstick that's truly comfortable this innovative flex flexible formula moves with your lips for cushiony pigment rich color that lasts all day while keeping lips soft nourished and moisturized available in the same tin made to matte shades as the kind words matte lip liner i didn't pick up any of the lip liners because i usually just use a brown lip liner and i have a few in my stash already that i just need to go ahead and get through this is what the packaging looks like i know that a lot of people have gotten these in pr and so they don't come in the packaging but if you are a regular consumer like me this is what they'll look like when you pick them up in sephora and it kind of goes along with the actual color of the lipstick as well I'm gonna see if I can open this I wanted to not rip the box cuz the box is so cute and I know I need to throw it away but I low he didn't want to this is the actual packaging of the lipstick very cute very simple I love the gold at the bottom and so to get the lipstick out you just click it Mm, I think and then pull like that okay you just gotta pull a little bit harder than what I was doing so again this color is the color wise and wise is described as a warm brown nude all right so let's just go ahead and try her on Okay, I like this color. Let's see if I can get this back in. Okay. I think it's supposed to be like that. But I really do like this color. 
It's definitely a matte formula. There's no shine, but it's a comfortable matte. My lips don't feel dry. They feel moisturized. I do like this color on my complexion. I would go ahead and line my lips with a little bit of brown lip liner just to make it blend in. Um, I do have more pigmented lips. And so, I don't know. I just like, <laughs> with colors like the this, I like to go in with a brown lip liner just a little bit on top, but Still a nice nude that I could wear every day. I'm actually gonna see if I can grab a brown lip liner, so hold on one second. We're going to line these lips real quick just so we can see like how I would wear it. All right, lip liner was all the way upstairs, so if I'm out of breath, that's because I ran upstairs to get it. But I'm just using my ColourPop lip liner in BFF4. So this is the color with a little bit of a brown lip liner just to outline my lips and I really like this color. I will say that the color in my opinion on my lips ends up looking a little bit lighter than it does in the tube but still a beautiful color and I know this is going to be like a go-to everyday color for me. So next we have the color Bold. Ooh, this one is so pretty. This one I was really, really excited about. So this color, like I said, is so beautiful and Rare Beauty describes this as a deep berry rose. Gonna go in without a lip liner. I don't know, y'all. I feel like these colors are showing up brighter on my complexion than they do in the tube. I was not expecting for this color to show up like as bright on my complexion. Again, this is another color that I would go in with my brown lip liner just around the lips, but this is what it looks like without the lip liner. I just feel like I need a little bit of brown lip liner just to go in and kind of make the contrast between the color and my skin color not be so harsh. So gonna go in with my color pop. This is what bold looks like with a brown lip liner and I like it a thousand times better with the lip liner. I don't think I would ever see myself wearing it without the brown lip liner. I just, I don't know. I just don't like that stark contrast again between my skin and the lip color. Uh, this actually is exactly what it says it is bold. It is a way bolder color than I thought it was going to be, but I do like it. And I think this would be very pretty for summer. If you are a lighter complexion, I feel like this color would give you more like a fall type of vibe. But for me, this is definitely a, a summer vibe, but I do like the color. And again, this is bold. By the way, they also claim to be like a one swipe type of deal. And I don't think that's necessarily true, at least for the amount of pigmentation I want on my lips. Again, my lips are very pigmented, and so I need more color to cover up my pigmented lips. But if your lips are lighter than mine, they're more like pinky, then this may actually be like a one swipe color type of thing for you, but for me, it's not. And that's not a big deal for me. I don't mind going over my lips a couple of times in order to get the payoff color that I want. So the second darkest shade I have is Gifted and it looks like this. This is described as a deep dusty plum. I'm really excited about this color. Mm. Ooh, I love this color already. Y'all, I love this. I love this color. I 
love it so much and it goes really well with my skin tone I don't need no type of lip liner with this at all this looks so good and I feel like it's that color that I can wear year-round I could wear this in the spring I could wear this in the summer but it's also a little bit deep enough for me to like wear it in the fall and the winter like oh, this color it's so pretty again this is the color gifted next we have the color strong and I love me a chocolate brown lipstick I have way too many in my collection but you know this is described as a rich chocolate I'm so excited about this one <laughs> y'all <laughs> I love it I love it So what I was going to say is that although I have an array of browns in my collection, I don't think I have like a bullet lipstick in this color. I feel like I have liquid lipsticks in this color, but not a bullet lipstick in this color. And y'all, this is gorgeous. I see myself wearing this all the time, October, November. Whoo, against my chocolate skin. I love this y'all I love this oh I love this also if you really like this color and you need a good brown lip liner again they do have matching lip liner so you get the lip liner strong that's gonna be the same color I love this this is the one we're gonna keep on for the rest of the video okay I really am very happy about the color choices that I picked up. Again, we have Wise, Bold, Gifted, and Strong. If you are my skin tone, around my skin tone, I definitely say pick up all four. <laughs> But if you don't want to pick up all four, I hope this video was helpful in figuring out maybe which ones you want to try. Sorry that I didn't pick up any of the lighter ones, but I don't know. Lighter nudes are just not my thing. Oh, I forgot to mention prices. They retail for $20 each, which for Sephora, for a high-end lipstick, is more on the reasonable side. Now, of course, this is going to be more expensive than drugstore lipsticks, but compared to other lipsticks in Sephora, this is a really good price. And the matching lip liners are $15 which I feel like that's a really really good price because even some of these drugstore lip liners are creeping up to $15 so definitely highly recommend this collection they feel very comfortable on my lips not drying they feel very soft very moisturized the color payoff is amazing color selection I feel like is amazing I love that Selena was very inclusive in the color selection and she got color ranges for literally everyone every skin tone every undertone just anyone can wear these lipsticks there's a color for everyone that is it for my quick review and lip swatch of the new rare beauty kind words lipsticks i hope that y'all enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know which color was your favorite which colors you plan on picking up let me know all of that in the comment section and as always i'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! Hey.